rut in Alabama. That's awesome. Welcome to the backwoods. My playground is out in the woods. Back in the sticks, this is my hood. Waking up early with nature's hand in my This for real life, right now? Finger on the trigger just to seal the deal. Feel the chill. Shoot to kill. It's the thrill, it's the skill, it's the rush, it's the dust. And oh, man, what a deal. Live in the backwoods life. Some things in life are just consistent, like taxes, mama's home cooking, gravity, and Jeremy Johnson's trash pile deer stand, always going to produce. This morning, that's where Jeremy and his daughter Taylor are headed for the youth hunt. They're running a little bit late. When they get to the stand, they already have a deer in the field. They got to sneak up into the stand, get the windows open, hope the deer don't run off. I think you gotta open the other one up. So I can see too. Shh. He's just standing, he's just standing right there with the clock. There. I'm gonna stand up to shoot. Here. Go ahead, you're good. Can you see him good? Yeah. You think you can hit him? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I think I'm going to shoot him. Okay. You want me to stop him? Hmm? You want me to stop him for you? Yeah. Meh. <laughs> it's a uh, youth season in Alabama. Second day, or third day actually. <laughs> and it's the first day we've taken Taylor. Our 30-second hunt is over. <laughs> <laughs> I think I beat Wesley. Shh, we don't know about all that yet. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to sit here for a little bit, though, because we're going to give him a little time. Then we'll go. Okay. Can see I if we can watch find him. YouTube while we're there? While we're mm, sure, we can watch okay. YouTube now because we got nothing else to do. <laughs> it been a little over an hour since uh, since Heather shot. We weren't really sure about the shot, but... Uh, I left her up here and I eased over there just to see if I could find any blood. Wait, you did? Yeah. Oh, good. Well. That's a good thing. That's a good sign for a dead deer. Look what I found. That's a good sign for a dead deer. Yes! Oh, yeah. Like a bullet. He's, uh. Oh, yeah. Like a bullet. Laying over there dead in the, in the woods, so. <laughs> We're going to wait on Grandma and Granddaddy because they're bringing biscuits. Yeah. And, and grits. <laughs> and then we're going to go over there and find it. Favorite or go over there and get it. So, house. But just wanted to let you know you, you killed your dude. Yay. Lucky <laughs> bullet. Hey, I'm proud of you. Didn't even get in the stand. I mean, we were like, what? Walk, we, we just closed the door. It was like two seconds after. Had to open up all the windows to be able to shoot. I mean, that was cool. It ain't going to happen like that very often. No. You see it? Stop him. Yeah. Gee. Boom. Wait, what? Huh? You dropped him. Yes. Here. Yes, I'm saving my deer. Shh. Back up. Take that off real quick. I can't. That just saved my deer. That just saved it for good. Okay, so. I shot a coyote. Back up, back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. Excuse me. Okay. Now, tell them what tell them what you just did. I shot a coyote for the first time. But tell them why. Because it was going to kill my deer. Well, they weren't going to kill your deer. Your deer was already dead. Yeah. But it was going to tear it up. It was. It was coming. He was sniffing your deer out. That's what he was and doing. And I just dropped the coyote. That's pretty good there. Well, that's good. 
I thought it was gonna be more fluffy than this, and I smell horrible. Yeah. You sure that's coyote, or is that you? That's. <laughs> mm. Just me. Okay, I'm ready to go get the deer now. <laughs> the deer's more exciting, huh? Maybe. All right. Well, that was a pretty long shot from what I'm looking at. How far was he? I don't know. Was he about 125 yards? Probably. That was um, a good shot. You hit him right where you needed to. Tom, that was 476 yards. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't you... What about the gun? Where'd the gun come from? Yeah, and the bullets. We got some special purple pills, don't we? For yes. these deer. Yeah. <laughs> and then, after while you was waiting on me to get here, you shot a coyote. Yes. So, that gun must be dialed in just right. Backwoods Life is brought to you by these great companies. Hawk Optics. Antler King. Lethal Products. McCorder Custom Rifles. Elite Archery. And Quality Archery Designs. This segment of Backwoods Live is brought to you by Spy Point Trail Cameras, the leader in cellular trail camera technology. All right, it's uh, November 11th, uh, Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to everybody, all the veterans. Um, out here on the farm, sitting on this little creek crossing, hoping to get a good buck to come by. We, uh, it's youth season right now in Alabama, and I took Tatum right this morning, and she shot her a pretty good-sized buck and a coyote, so she doubled up on us this morning. So this afternoon, it's going to be my turn. I got the uh, Cam X crossbow, and I'm going to try to see if we can stick one down here on the creek. So we'll see what happens. That's a pretty big pig. <laughs> hadn't, hadn't seen anything. I saw two little fawns a while ago, but I couldn't get the camera on them. And I'm sitting there and I hear this, this grunting noise. And I looked up and there was a whole bunch of pigs coming. And I tried to get on a spotted one. And I couldn't really get on it, but uh, a really, really big black one came in behind a, a sow. I, I'm pretty sure he was a big old boar. And got right down here. I think I arranged him, or I didn't arrange him, but I arranged the spot earlier. I think it was about 10 yards, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so, 
Looked pretty good though. That was pretty neat. To say Jeremy has a hog problem might be just a little bit of an understatement. We're talking apocalyptic hog invasion going on here, and I'm gonna have to buy this boy some bullets. Dang it, man. That's a big old pig. Golly, he's a big old sucker. Look at the head on that joker. Look at his teeth. Wow. Oh my gosh. Big old pig. <laughs> That's my first first kill using the uh, Camax crossbow. Then I had a whole bunch of little 20 pounders come up there. There's probably 25 of them. And the darn things never would be still. <laughs> they just kept running in and out and never stopped. So I couldn't get a shot at them. But we did get Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted Big Daddy the 10 point, but we'll settle for Big Daddy the boss hog. <laughs> cool. A lot of bacon. Yeah, a lot of bacon. A lot of bacon. Backwoods Life is also brought to you by. Realtree, Camex Crossbows, Scott Archery, Slick Trick Broadheads, CBE Custom Bow Equipment, Lynch Mob Calls, and Tree Stand Buddy. This segment of Backwoods Life is brought to you by Shiver Carts in Tifton and Valdosta, Georgia. Offering sales, service, and rentals with the largest selection and best prices guaranteed. We're gonna shoot a deer. I'm gonna shoot it. We're both gonna shoot it. Where are we gonna sit? Uh, the trash pile. We're gonna shoot, sit at the trash pile. And what are we shooting? A buck. We, we hope. <laughs> I hope he won't. Let me shoot does. We are shooting does, bucks, and deer. Anything that walks, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah like anything, a, anything that's standing. Yeah, like a doe, buck, or deer. Does and bucks. All right, you all ready? Yeah. Here we go. Let's go. There's a buck right here front and right across from us. You see it? Yeah. Okay, get it, get ready. He's just kind of standing there, so you got plenty of time. Can you see him good? Mm -hmm. All right, wait, wait on him, wait till he turns. I don't think you hit him. Or did you? I think I did. Oh, I just saw him crash. <gasps> I think you got him. Yeah. That was pretty good. I think he went towards the left. That scared me. That scared me when I saw it. All right, somebody go get him. Um, Braxton, you don't have boots long tall on this. Taylor, go get him. Well? So? Braxton, what are you doing? What are you th you're not doing it. Get out of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> I do a golf like this. We've been trying to hunt for this one particular deer pretty much all season. He, uh, he's got this weird point on the one side. We've been calling him the club all year. Got tons of pictures of him all from when he first started growing all the way up until pretty much a couple days ago. And uh, 
she wanted to shoot the club, so we waited. And he came out basically straight across from us and gave us plenty of time to get all situated and get everybody lined up in the blind and got a good shot and he didn't go, I don't know, probably 75 yards, so. What you think about that? I like it. Huh? What like you think about that? Oh, what you think I about that? I even, like ha it. even had old Bro Bro here in the stand with us. And I liked it. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Okay, Rick and Bubba. <laughs> Rick and Bubba. So y'all, uh, y'all liking this hunt stuff? The Rick and Bubba, yeah. the Rick and Bubba, the Rick and he Bubba. He needs to shoot. Uh, yeah. Hmm? He needs to shoot one. Yeah. Backwoods Life is also brought to you by Hunter Safety System, Hunter's Cloak, Redneck Blinds, Winner's Choice Bowstrings, and Dual Game Calls. This segment of Backwoods Life is brought to you by Walls Outdoor Goods greater than all outdoors all right well i'm just now getting set up it's uh it's about 8 30 9 o'clock you know on january 30th here in alabama and i've been seeing a lot of deer a lot of bucks moving midday so we're gonna get down here and load this crossbow Let's see if we can uh make something happen today believe in that word I, okay I've been seeing deer go through this little spot for a few years and they're always in the middle of the day and there's nowhere to hunt down here because there's no trees it's an old clear cut and everything's small trees well I got the short tripod and I'm sitting a total of probably six and a half seven foot off the ground and I tried just coming down here the other day and I spooked one off. And we're in the middle of the rut here in Alabama. It's January 30th. I'm pumped right now. I'm blood pouring out of that job. It's 11.07 right now. I didn't get down here till like 9. But he saw me and he went to run. And he was still close enough to shoot so I just went for it and... Camex crossbows. How about that? That's awesome. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know what I'm just blabbering right now. I don't know what to say. The rut in Alabama. That's awesome. It's been about an hour and a half and I shot that, that buck and show that stand. The stand's like six, six and a half foot off the ground maybe. <laughs> a little short thing. <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty sure he saw me when I was trying to maneuver the crossbow over and he bounced off and I got a shot on him anyways but we're gonna go over here and see if we can pick up trail. Heck yeah. At 11 o'clock in the middle of the day so Hunt all day, it's, it's worth it. <laughs> he came in there and he saw me when I was trying to 
was trying to get everything maneuvered to him and I was hoping he was going to walk right in front of me but he didn't. He stopped and kind of bounced off but he was still in a in a shooting shooting lane so I figured I'd give him a go and it it did a good go. <laughs> That's a big old big old hole for that uh golly. It's almost like it's a rifle hole, but it's a slick trick. <laughs> That's my first first deer kill with Cam X. Worked pretty good. When we think of deer hunting, especially in Alabama, we think of Jeremy. He's got a great place to hunt, got a lot of stuff to shoot, takes his family, really enjoys being there in the outdoors, passing that on and put some meat in the freezer. That's how hunting is supposed to be. It's not always gotta be about whether a deer's gonna score enough, if it's old enough, or just worrying about whether or not you're shooting the right one. Hunting is supposed to be fun. And I'd say the Johnsons are doing it right. These dead gum walnuts are huge. And they're scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> one of y'all needs to gut him. I mean, I'm gonna go get the truck and pull it closer, then y'all can bring it over there and get the truck. Braxton, you gonna drag him? You are? Me and Taylor are going to drag him, but... What about good? Backwards life, season 15. I'm done.